worst American League Central team and the worst record of all time dead last in the American League Central, the Chicago White Sox. The White Sox lost yesterday 10-2 against Minnesota. Go Twins. I need to take a closer look how many games that they lost in August so far. So this is what has been going on. The worst record in the American League Central, 27 wins and 85 losses. That That is not good. That is totally not good. Um, and the reason why, the reason why I said this, the reason why I said this, I mean, I mean, I don't know what happened to the White Sox organization because the White Sox have been going down lightly. Yeah. So they had 27 wins and 85 losses in the American League Central side. That that is very bad. And I like I'm telling you the truth about this. That is so bad. Very very bad. Like, tell me about it, because it's awful. Very awful. They had 18 consecutive losing streaks this season. 18 losses in a row. 18 losses. He, They had like 18 straight losses in a row for Chicago. I'm very... Uh, all, a lot in the comments on my live stream said the White Sox... Like in my live stream, a lot of people in my com in the comments that they had to they had like have been admitted it like they're White Sox fans. I'm sorry, White Sox fans, but Chicago White Sox is not doing good this year because they're the PCT the PCT is getting low very bad with point two hundred and forty one PCT, which is not good for the White Sox standings. They're dead last. The Guardians take over first place, 67-42 losses. Kansas City is very good, 62-49. The Minnesota Twins, 60 wins and 48 losses. Detroit Tigers, 52-59. And the, and the White Sox, 27-85. That will be the worst record of all time. At home, they lost a few games on, on home games and road games. And 0.500 PCT games. The, the second game will be facing the Minnesota Twins again. This tonight. And then Sunday will be Chicago White Sox for the last time. The Minnesota Twins are playing the Chicago Cubs on Monday. You see, they're playing the Cubs on Monday. The, the Orioles and Yankees are still fighting for first place. They're still fighting for first they're still fighting for first place. Like 65 wins and 46 losses. The same as the New York Yankees. The same as New York. Now getting back to the topic. I think they lost 18 losses in a row through July through August. Maybe. Maybe June through August. That's what happened. I think I, I think that's what happened. Okay, the scores. Um, I'm actually checking the news quick. I'm checking the news quick. Oh yeah, have you heard? Um, Blake Snell throws a no hitter. He he already threw a no hitter though. He threw a no hitter. He actually he actually threw a no hitter. He finally he finally threw a no facts and figures about Snell's first career no hitter. Oh dude, he finally. He finally gets his first career no hitter, man. He finally gets his first career. He finally did it. He finally did it. Blake Snell is a highly decorated left-hander with two Sun Young Awards to his name, but entire entering his start against the Reds, the Great American Ballpark, on Friday night, he had never pitched a complete game during his nine-year MLB career. That changed in a big way on Friday when the 
went on the heels on a historic start against the Rockies in previous outing. Snell threw his first career no-hitter in the Giants' 3-0 victory over Cincinnati. What began as a difficult season for re-National League Sun Young Award winner, he had a 9.51 ERA over his six starts. That has become what the Giants hoped when they, they signed Snell a two-year $62 million contract last offseason. Since returning from a second stint on the injured list on July 9th, Snell has a 0.55 ERA with 41 strikeouts and 10 walks. So finally, the San Francisco Giants had their complete game no-hitter for the 18th perfect game in Giants history. Congratulations to postseason matchups. Playoff matchups. Let's take a look on the matchup. The 2024 postseason will be here before we know it. And so Thursday, we do win in here before. I don't know what postseason is going to be match up, but it's only two months away. It's only been two months. A lot of postseason matchups is going to be interesting because a lot of playoff contenders might be, could be a rematches. A lot of rematches going on in the postseason for this year. But we don't know yet because it's only two months away from a postseason October. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Please subscribe. Notification bell on. Comment and share more to see more baseball news. See you guys soon on my live stream on Roblox.